Hey, it's Ranger 374 coming to you from the Bass Cave. Hope everybody's been out there fishing, you know, catching some fish, buying some tackle. Haven't seen everyone for a while, so I've been busy. As you can see from the title, um, I acquired a 1976 Skeeter Wrangler. Um, it was my father's boat, and he bought it brand new back in 76. And there's a long backstory on this um, between me and my pop. So um, the boat hadn't been used for a long time. I think the last sticker registration was 1986. So it's been sitting a long time. Long story short, uh, my father passed away and I ended up with this boat. And it was it was a hassle just in that. But um, anyhow, um, it had a 150 mark on it and a mark thrust and trolling motor, which were completely locked up. Mice had eaten the engine. Um, they're gone now. Long story short. Anyhow, the um, the trailer it needs some work. Uh, probably more than the boat. Boat's pretty solid. Um, you'll see. I, I took a short video. Um, I'll do something better on it when I start really working on it. But, um, gel coat's in decent shape. Seats were in decent shape. couple need some, um, some new wood on the backing, which is not a big deal. Um, but otherwise, the hull is solid, believe it or not. But, um, it's been sitting a long time. Um, but covered up and, um, well taken care of. Um, for sitting so long but anyhow that's just um, I got a skeeter now yes I am a ranger dude um, always will be got this just uh, maybe like a sentimental type deal that I'll work on I'm going to use it as a pond boat eventually year or two I don't know when it's going to get done um, just going to put a trolling motor on it probably and put around a pond anyhow um I'll uh, shoot you to the next video, or yeah, video part of it, uh, the boat, boat walk around, and um, we'll come back and um, I'll talk about it. All right, till then, Ranger 37. Well, there it is. It's the old Skeeter Wrangler, 1976. Um, just started a project on it, as you can tell. Trailer's a little rough. It's going to need some work. Just gonna do a quick walk through on this thing. Gel coat's gonna need some polishing. Trolling motor's removed. Carpet's re-glued on the front deck. And the floor you can see I've got the carpet pulled up and it's not re-glued in yet. Rod box here is done. Stuff's done in the back. One of the original seats in there. Had three seats in it. All these compartments are good. That's the live well. Probably can't see it. It's dark, but pretty good size. It's divided. Surprised they had a nice one. It's got compartments in the back. No, it's tough to see. But I'll do a official walkthrough when it's done. Still has the side plates on it. Trailer's an easy loader. It's a roller trailer. Don't know why it's a roller trailer. But anyway. Outboard's removed as I said before. So, got to be messing with that. But, pretty much doing this real quick. Give you an idea of what 
what I'm starting with. All underneath is pretty decent. It isn't tore up. Good shape. Check out that spare tire. Yeah, that's old. Anyway. Console. Steering console. Pretty cool decal. But more compartments back here. Just a quick walk through. Anyway, got some work to do, as you can see. I'll go through it officially when I start doing some more work. But, that's the old 12 volt troll motor plug. Don't know if we'll go to 24 or not, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Put the old bug back on the water someday. Alright, go back inside to the bass cave, see what's going on. Alright, back, Ranger 374 in the bass cave. Um, saw the video before you yell about the audio. Yeah, it's bad. That's why I didn't talk too much. I don't have an external mic. So, um, for any bad audio comments about being outside, I already know. But anyway, um, so you've seen the boat, um, it's not in bad shape, um, needs work obviously, um, and it just takes time to do it, but I'll get it done and get her out there and float around and catch a bass, see what happens. But uh, let me know, you know, in the comments, any ideas for help. Um, Anything that you know, you've been working on boats or whatever, uh, comments on what it looks like initially. You know, I don't care. I basically got what I got. That's all I can say. But um, as you can see, no outboard, no no, no trolling motor. Um, console has some uh, gauges in it. It actually has a Hummingbird in-dash depth finder that, that actually um, works, which is sweet. But um, anyhow, no, no other electronics on it except gauges. Um, I tore out all the old wiring for the old Merc and some other miscellaneous stuff that was in there. He had some radios in there and man, I tore all that stuff off. There's an antenna on there. I tore that off. But anyhow, um, I've been out. I've been fishing. Yeah, I've been buying lures. Um, just have haven't posted them because it's nothing special um, but you know holidays are coming of course I'm gonna buy some more stuff I'll let you in on it but again you know you've seen the video and uh, let me know what you think you know is it worth it you know to me it is yeah the things 46 years old I'm gonna float it out there and I've got a flag behind me to picked up it's one of the 76 1976 uh, bicentennial flags. I'm gonna put it on the the running light pole. But anyhow, um, let me know what you think. I hope everybody out there is you know catching fish and takes advantage of this fall fishing. I got another club tournament coming up this Saturday, and uh, try to give it give it a whirl. But anyway, for now, stay safe. Um, hope everybody's well. And that's it, Ranger 374, and I'm out.